my pranams to all atma jyotis divine light of the self today we are going to contemplate on another meaning another dimension of the sutra number 3.2 she say tatra pratyay ekant ekatanana dhyanam so meditation is the process of focusing attention on a given object so many people are confused when they do meditation why is the object required for meditation because meditation is for the self the subject my inner self my inner reality the seer within me the seer within me i have to go the meditation is a form becoming one with the seer then why were you focusing on the seer the object see in atma dhyan yoga we teach different objects for meditation how can we move from the object to the subject this is the science of meditation when you get penetrate deeper into the object there is no longer object there is only universal reality the process of meditation is called neti 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 not this not this not this like a scientist isolates eliminates the different possibilities go deeper and deeper into the nature of the object a yogi also goes drops this the grosser aspect and goes deeper and deeper and subtle and causal aspect of the object this process called neti neti not this not this not this so when you focus on object gradually you have to drop the grosser form say not this is the reality because grosser form changes then you have to drop the subtle aspect of the object saying that this also changes then you have to drop the causal aspect of the object saying this also changes then what is there is transcendental aspect not this not this not this neti 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 there is the process of meditation there is the process of yoga so in atma darshan yoga we have two practices so hum kundali kriya hum sadhyana kriya in both these practices we can use various objects the breath as object the sound as a object for example the sound pranava the supreme sound the transcendental sound the the primordial sound omkara or we can take the sensation of the body or we can take subtle line of lights so i call this as our gates to the self or we can take the chakras anything can be gate to the self somebody ask what is the way to the space show me the direction to the space what will you show any direction you point is direction to the space everything is space similarly everything in the universe is the universal reality the universal reality can be seen and penetrate through any means anything can be a gate to the universal reality only you require a mind to open up that reality the mind has to be made from the grosser to the subtle to the causal the mind has to be made finer and finer the mind should be become like a laser brain to penetrate into the reality that's what we teach in atma darshan yoga so what we do when you take sensations of the body as object of focus this is typically what is done in vipassana also a body becomes your focus area then what happens 
the sensations become finer and finer the grosser becomes finer and finer the subconscious impressions rise and drop but still you persist and a finer body from the grosser you to move to subtle subtle to the causal and then you realize there was emptiness nirvanic state inside the emptiness of the object then when you observe the breath the breath is gross and earlier then you become aware of subtle movements of breath then you observe the pause in the breath suddenly you realize the emptiness of the breath and you realize the awareness which is behind observer same thing when you observe the inner light here what you observe is a light form gradually becomes finer and finer and finer then when you penetrate it there's only the awareness which remains the sakshi the kutastha chaitanya which remains then you start to sound the pranava dhyana which is primordial sound you take up the gross sound become aware of the silence then the sound becomes subtle 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 and you understand the various dimensions of sound the sound itself becomes the name and form and when you go deeper the sound becomes subtle and when you become aware of subtle sound you become aware of the universal reality the supreme reality the inner self the seer like this we have to go from the grosser to the subtle this is the science of meditation movement of the mind from the grosser to the subtle to the causal it is like refining gold if you go to a gold mine you need 1 ton of gold 1 ton of mud is taken and 1 ton of mud is put through fire smelting process then finally probably you get 2 grams of gold from the one mine one ton of mud similarly in a meditation we have to eliminate all the grosser and go deeper 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 then we will get the gold the supreme reality the inner self the transcendental reality it's a process of elimination of the gross the elimination of the subtle the elimination of the causal to reach the transcendental that's what meditation is all about